one of the things we have grappled with in trying to understand how to make innovations happen, meaning specifically how to get them into adoption in your community, is uh, dealing with the large number of popular theories that exist about how to do innovation. So just to give them names, there's a pipeline theory, there's a funnel theory, there's an innovation cell theory, there's a diffusion theory, and there's an intellectual property theory. And all of these give guidance. If you're running an organization or running a project, you can run it through a pipeline, you can run it through a, a funnel, you can diffuse, you can do all the, you can choose one of these models and you will be successful with your innovation. Well, you know, ex practical experience says, no, that's not what happens. 96% of those things fail. And, and the, the reason that it fails is that there's a huge difference between the way innovation looks when you're looking back at it and how it happened and the way, the way it looks when you're looking forward, trying to be the person that's dri driving your community into adoption of a new practice. The world looking backwards, you can see everything that happened and you can explain it. When you're looking forward, everything is a mystery. We call it the fog of uncertainty. And most of us don't know how to navigate in, a, in the middle of the fog of uncertainty we get lost and we can't produce our innovation. So we call that a paradox because we think we understand it based on our past, but the actual experience of moving into the future is a mystery to us and we don't know how to cope with it. And what you'll get from this session is the ability to, again, realize that it doesn't matter as much which model is being used it's understanding that there are a set of practices that undergird those that allow people to move in the world. And it, it's really to step out confidently on a path where you're not sure of how the journey will end at the beginning of it and realizing that being comfortable with being uncomfortable is the first part of being successful. It's also one that each one of us sometimes idolizes these heroes of innovation past, whether it's uh, Steve Jobs and the iPhone or Edison and the light bulb. And in some ways that hero worship prevents us because we're like, I'm not a Steve Jobs. I'm not a Thomas Edison. Why do I think I should be able to do this? And we're really gonna give you some of the tools that you'll need to step out confidently on the road to creating the world that you want.